Avenue and Santa Cruz Street on the south side of the street. Mill White, leave this white cut off shirt, yelling at passerby. Possibly under the influence of unknown substance. Information on 599. <laughs> My name's Howard Reichbrook. Uh, I'm a star of the Netflix show Shot in the Dark, uh, premiered late last year. Uh, it's been trending. It's an interesting show. It's about my life, about what I do. Um, I'm essentially a stringer. I'm a freelance cameraman that listens to police radios, fire radios, um, and everything in between. And I drive pretty quickly to go and film and videotape the shootings and the stabbings, the police chases, and then I sell it to the local news overnight. Uh, it's a huge industry in Los Angeles. I mean, really, is no better place in Los Angeles to do it. I mean, you have highways that are wide open at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, I mean, this is my office. Most people sit in a cubicle. Um, I do not. I have a car. It's like a fighter jet. Uh, I'll give you a quick one. So a typical kit for any kind of stringer is a bulletproof vest. We have uh, a lot of shootings here, and now I have a kid. I have to wear that. Uh, camera. Need a high def, obviously a, a good camera, works well in low light. I have a steel camera, a tripod, fire extinguisher. Uh, a lot of times we roll up on things that before firefighters or before police. So if there's someone been stabbed on the ground, we'll try and help. High speed internet, I have a uh, laptop, I have a tablet, I have five different scanners. I'll show you the So, this one I have uh, Burbank Glendale, I've got LAPD, LA City Fire, up here I have LA County Fire, and everything in between. And then I have uh, business radios, so I can talk to my, uh, my workers on this. Because LA is so, it's so big, we, we have to share it. So, um, yeah, we'll get something. Come on, just give us something juicy. Wind squad 45, engine in the SD94, engine 23, engine 98, engine 122. 99, Three calls into 911 of a traffic collision. Three vehicles involved, Colbert Canyon and Riverside. We're close enough to check it out. Three calls means it could be simply responding emergency lights and sirens to it. So, Things we see are pretty gruesome. I mean, to put it bluntly, they are pretty gruesome. Uh, I've been doing it a long time, and you never really, you never really get used to it. Um, I think things affect me more now. I have a kid and a family. So, how would you beat the police here? Yeah, beat the police. Is there any competition you can see at the moment? Not yet, we got it pretty quick. We got it, so uh, LAPD's just for that. Emotionally, I, I've just come to learn how to shut my emotions off. I mean, if I'm looking through a viewfinder, it's almost like I'm watching a documentary. So if someone's there dying on the street and I'm videoing it, it's like watching a TV show. I mean, it's just, it's like a real reality show. Like Shot in the Dark. Shot in the Dark is a gritty reality show. And some people don't want to see what we put on TV. But it's it's true. It's not it's not filtered. It's it's raw. It's gritty. Yeah, two vehicles. It's pretty good crash. Uh, two victims. Three victims. Well, one in this car here. Two here. This guy's got a pretty good gash on his head.
success of the show? Do people come up to you and go, you're that guy from Shot in the Dark? Yeah, a lot. You know, it's funny because I knew the show would be good. I knew it would be out there. And I knew we'd be recognised occasionally, but not to the extent that we are now. I mean, if I go out for dinner with my wife, hey, mate, you're out there on that show. Hey, here's a drink. Or I could be buying dog food, and they say, man, love your show. Stop the traffic lights. People pull up, hey, man, great show, nice car, love the work you do, keep going. It, it never ends. Oh, no. <laughs> mate. Yeah, uh, shot in the dark. Yeah, yeah. On Netflix, yeah. Yeah. I'm on the first one. Oh, you are? Yeah. Was from the first? car accident on Ventura. The female on the front seat. Oh, the fatal? Hit the pole? Yeah. Yeah. That was bad. Yeah. I know, I was in the car with her and... Uh, I mean, no. We the and to the point where it's actually become quite distracting for me. If I'm filming something, for example, I filmed something the other day when all the clubs turned out in Hollywood. Two o'clock, there's something going on. Trying to get my shot, quite a few people recognize me. I'm talking a dozen people recognize me. They were coming up, they were, they've been drinking, they were hanging on me. Hey man, can I get my selfies? Like, can you please let me get my job done? So uh, it's uh, it's been eye opening. I knew we'd get some reactions, but not to, be, to the point we are now. Uh, so while we're on this, I guess somebody's just got shot dead and another person injured in a shooting in the 4,000 block of East 6th Street in East LA. So we've got that tonight, we have a fire, someone else shot that. Um, yeah, it's been busy so far. Just getting agitated now. Am I looking at you? Am I asking you questions? Like, Am I asking you questions? People don't know when to shut their mouths. Look at him, he's arguing with a cop. You're good at this. Oh, I'm not going to answer my questions. Are you okay? Alright, it is what it is. Look at my face. That's kind of the reason I like this job is because you never know what's coming up. Mm. You know, I could be waiting for half an hour, an hour, you know, I'll hear a few things and then all of a sudden, boom, you're just into something that just it just goes from, from zero to a hundred really quick. It's something I, I don't see that in any other job.